This short animation explains what happens with low efficiency wasp traps. Let us assume that the trap only kills 10% of the wasps that it catches. In the first instance, this wasp is one of the unlucky 10% and dies. Statistically, the next wasp will be one of the lucky 90% and will escape. Wasps that escape from a trap return to their nest to recruit more of their colleagues. For argument's sake, let's say each escaping wasp will return with a further 9 wasps. Being 10% efficient, the trap will kill another wasp. According to the model, the remaining 9 wasps will go back and recruit a further 81 wasps. The trap will kill 9 of these 90 wasps, leaving 81 wasps. These escaping wasps will then return as a swarm of 810 wasps. Again, being 10% efficient, the wasp trap will kill a further 81 of these wasps. Throughout the whole of this model, the low efficiency wasp trap will have killed 92 wasps. Despite having killed 92 wasps, the same wasp trap has however attracted a further 729 wasps. Clearly, this is only a representation and in real life the numbers are less exacting. By contrast, a high efficiency wasp trap would have only killed 2 wasps but the area around the trap would have been wasp free.